Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. WTF is Demolition Inc. Well, this is a game by Zero Scale, and it is an action strategy game, as they call it, about blowing stuff up on the planet Earth as an alien, I assume, some kind of construction contractor. Well, in this case, destruction contractor. Can have a look at the options screen, as we should with any PC game. Pretty standard stuff. No windowed mode for some reason. Unless, of course, it's under aspect ratio. Ah! Oh, Lord. All right. Okay. Yeah, you get back to where it was. No, it's not under there. <laughs> Needless to say. Audio levels advanced. V-Sync. All, all the usual things. One problem, by the way. This is just a very, very minor gripe. I just want to put this out to indie devs. Please do not have your volume levels on a scale of... Off to ten. Because, as it turns out... One was really, really loud, and I had to turn this down in the Windows Mixer to about a third. And then that, of course, is off. So give us just a, just a little bit more would be great. Thanks. All right. So you've got two modes here, Campaign and Rampage. Rampage is, as it says on the tin, seems to be some kind of freeform mode whereby you use the items that you have gained in the campaign. And, of course, you can access the cities that you've done in the campaign. So basically just lets you sort of play through various things to get better ratings and all of this compared to those on your friends list and to a global high scoreboard as well and the campaign mode where all of that magic happens all right so let's go into a mission i've done the tutorial mission so we'll go on a little bit and the point of this game is to cause as much damage as humanly possible or should i say extraterrestrially impossible and as a direct result you get paid really as simple as that this is almost like some kind of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy simulator. It looks like Earth is getting demolished for some kind of new space bypass. Alright. Destroy all buildings is the mission. All of them. Now, how do you do that, you might ask? Well, you can't do it directly, which is kind of silly, because he's running around with a wrecking ball on his ship, and yet he can't use the wrecking ball. What is the purpose of the wrecking ball, exactly? I have to wonder. Also, why does he not have lasers? So what I have... Is a set of abilities. In this case, I have five pieces of wheel glue. So you can either glue the left or the right front tires and make the car swerve left or right. And by doing so, you can cause the car to crash into something. For instance, if I were to place wheel glue here, that would cause that to happen. Now you might think, oh, that was a failure. No, not really. Because, of course, that car is damaged and will explode, as cars tend to after taking a minor bump. Right, once you've done damage, the army will come in, or at least it will in a few minutes, and that's sort of your timer. You've got to finish up before that happens. All right. So I have a little bit more wheel glue. There are also these item boxes on top here. So if I were to blow this up, I'd get a bunch more wheel glue, for instance. So if I want to send something in that direction, probably putting something there might be good. It takes a little bit of getting used to, as you can see. You've got to figure out exactly where things are going to go. It does help that you've got arrows there, but they're not necessarily accurate. All right, there we go. Very nice, very nice. And that gives us a bunch of debris which you can pick up for money. And also it gives you some power-ups, some more of these wheel glues. Now, if I recall correctly, there's an item on top of there. All right, so we need to try and get that. Uh, I think that it's claiming it would go in that direction. I'm not 100% convinced about that. If I can hit that explosive barrel and cause a chain reaction with those cars, that might be worthwhile. So if we put it maybe there... Or maybe not. Okay, put it maybe there. Or there. Well, it was almost there, wasn't it? There we go, that did the job. Some damage has been done. Unfortunately, the rest of the cars... Oh, no, they're going to explode. They're going to explode. Come on. There we go. Much better. Well, enough damage to that car? I think I probably have. So it looks reasonable. And then the last car should detonate and hopefully take out that building. And then we've got to think about how to demolish this one. It's a bit trickier. This area is actually fenced off, so you can't go through there. It's okay, though. I have new weapons in the form of explosive cows. Let's say, why not? So when these things are touched, they will cause an explosive chain reaction. Which is exactly what you want, really. Now the question is, where do we put them? Well, if I cause a car to sort of veer off and turn around in that direction, and we might be in a pretty good state. So, let's do that. All right. He is hoping that arrow is actually accurate. So I want to be seizing up the left... No, the right wheels. I always get that wrong. There you go. Try it again. Round you go. Round you go. We don't like that building. 
Ooh, was that enough damage to bring it down? No, it was not. That upsets me. All right. I have one wheel glue remaining. I've got to not screw this up. Just to make sure that I don't screw this up, I'm going to place two explosive cows underneath it and hope for the best. There we go. Okay. So, you glue the wheels in the direction you want it to go. So, we want it to go... Right. There. Okay. Select the wheel glue. Get it right. Go on. There we go. Round here. Hit the cow. Hit the cow. Hit the cow. The building's still standing. God damn it. Ah. Now, at this point, I think you just boned. You don't actually have any items or anything. The game doesn't tell you that you failed. Which, I have to say, is a little bit infuriating. See, is there anything I can pick up? Nope, nope, nope. Nope, and nope. I can't grab anything else whatsoever, and my intergalactic space demolition vehicle can't actually blow up anything itself, so that's fairly annoying, I have to say. It would be nice if the game just said, hey, you failed, you want to restart, or maybe it gives you something to get you back in the game. But I have a feeling you've just got to hit those explosive barrels. And what annoyed me is you would have thought that they were close enough to detonate. I wonder if placing a cow in the middle of... Ah, hang on a second, I think I figured this one out. All right. Let's try it a different way, shall we? So, you see the gap there. I'm thinking if you place a cow in the middle of that, then that will cause a chain, chain reaction after hitting that. So, first things first, we need cows. You never thought I'd really say that in the game. In fact, I'm fairly sure I didn't th think I'd ever say that. When I was looking back at the possibility of career options maybe 10 years ago, the last thing I thought is that I'd be sitting here today saying, all right, we need more cows. Unless, of course, I was some kind of dairy farmer. All right. We shall access the cow. Not that way. Now, I believe if I place a cow in the middle of this, I'm hoping that's enough, and then detonate that, that should destroy everything. Let's find out if that is the case. Alrighty then. You can go in that direction. There you go. Bang, 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 bang. Yes, there we go. See? So that's sort of the puzzle game element of it, and down it goes. I have to say, it does sort of look like it's made of cardboard, but you know what, I can live with that. That's pretty reasonable. Oh, I see, we're actually some kind of space eco-terrorist. We're knocking all this down so the beautiful greenery... Gre gre let's try that one again. Greenery may grow again. It's a lot of Gs, folks. Alright. Intergalactic eco-terrorism sounds like fun to me. Let's do more of it. Okay, that could have gone slightly better. Let's try that one again. No. 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 Okay, maybe yes. Carnage, ladies and gentlemen. Carnage. And that takes us up to 100 wonderful percent. See? See how wonderful this is? I'm making the planet live again. Through heinous amounts of death. Very cool. How How is that? My god, there's four and a half thousand people that managed a higher score than that. That's impressive. That is impressive. New stuff. All right, let's do another district. This is quite cerebral, considering. Hmm, falling trees or earthquake? Earthquake sounds like more fun. Let's do that. I like that it at least gives you options there. It's like, well, you know what? I don't feel like the falling trees thing. I just want to cause some horrendous natural disaster to occur. But, you know, that's why I played SimCity. I'm sure everyone else did exactly the same thing. You only built a great city so you could wreck it and cause pain and misery. Maybe that was just me. I don't think it was just me. All right. Destroy all the buildings. Now, how exactly? Super weapon. Earthquake bomb unlocked. Pay four and a half thousand dollars to make it available. Yes, yes, I gathered that. I gathered that. All right, so I have one mounted here, but I cannot use it as of yet. So what do I have? Right. The earthquake bomb, wheel glue, and oil clouds. Oil clouds are always fun. Let's try that. Is that a quest? It's okay, I can help you. Somehow. There's a lot of trial and error involved in this game. Lots and lots of trial and error. Simply because sometimes you don't really know what's going to happen. Like, huh, well, this sounds like fun, but maybe I'm not doing this right. 
sort of wheel glue one of those cars into that vehicle. I wonder if we could actually run over the parking guy. <laughs> oh no, I've been killed! Well, it's dangerous work. Somebody's got to do it. Well, I suppose that was a quest that I was supposed to do, but you know what? I found it more interesting just to slaughter the damn humans. I'm a horrible man, and I'm okay with that. All righty then. What else? I would love to knock this down. The question is how, 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 how? Perhaps if I were to put some wheel glue around there. Now, oil clouds. What's fun about oil clouds? What isn't fun about oil clouds? Yes, there we go. This game's kind of fun, I have to say. It's definitely got some enjoyable elements to it. I don't think there's any real doubt about that. I wonder if it's possible to drive a car 10 seconds through the city with full throttle. A great question. I have no idea how to find that one out. Will this help? Yeah. I don't know if that was for 10 seconds, really. Did I complete the quest there? I don't think so. Perhaps if I were to kill him, he would know. Speed kills, folks. Guaranteed. I also have not made a lot of money, have I? Please help an old woman cross the street. Not a problem. There you go, you've crossed the street. Mostly. <laughs> I'm a bastard. The thing is, I don't even get rewarded for that, which is a weird, weird thing, isn't it? It's a game about destroying parts of the world, and yet you seem to have an unbelievable concern for human life, and yet the human life of anything that doesn't have an exclamation mark above its head, that actually gives you money. How does that work? I don't even know. The question is, is that enough to blow that building? I think not. Indeed, it is not. More speed is required. More speed. Get that debris out of the way. I say, it is a fairly enjoyable game. I have a feeling it'll probably get stale after a while. Like, for instance, this is the kind of game where a level designer would make a lot of sense. The ability to set up puzzles for other people to play. And you don't seem to have anything like that. That's a little bit disappointing. That I would definitely like to see added to the game. I think that would add a lot of longevity to it. As it stands, it's a bit of fun. And it is a little bit cerebral. Not too cerebral. Good amount of trial and error gameplay involved in it, which can be quite enjoyable. And for the price, I wouldn't say that it's too shabby. No, not that way. Oh, God. Well, that was a cosmic failure if I've ever seen one. I'm not getting paid today. And there you go. Once again, you've run into a situation where you just can't actually do anything, so you've got to restart the level. But that was a look at Demolition Inc, folks. That's basically what it is. It's available for $10 or £8 or €10. Euros. It's not a bad little title, I think, to dip into every now and again. I don't think I'd be playing it for hours, honestly. But the concept is pretty neat, honestly. I think it's fairly enjoyable. It could definitely do with a mission editor. Without question, it could do with a mission editor. We'll have a quick look at Rampage mode before we go and just see what's available there, if anything. So if this is just sort of a score attack, then I'm not so interested. Well, let's try that again. I think it's just a score attack, honestly. But I guess we'll find out. There we go. Well, I gave you 10 wheel glue this time around, so... I think it's... Yeah, I think pretty sure it just is for maximizing your high score or whatever. I don't think there's anything particularly special about it, as far as I can tell. But regardless, as I say, it's a fun little diversion, certainly. I think there's there's definitely some good ideas here. I would like to see sort of a multiplayer co-op mode. I would like to see perhaps some mission editor in a future DLC or a future sequel to this game. But it's a good idea. It's certainly a good start, I feel. And what is there is fairly enjoyable with some minor frustrating elements. My name is Total Biscuit, and I will see you next time. <laughs>